Alrighty, um, been a while since I've done a video. Um, I'm in Seattle. It's uh, rainy and miserable. We had a couple of decent days this weekend, but I was kind of stuck with large chores and didn't get a chance to get out and do the camping and stuff I'd like to do. Anyway, um, <clears throat> one of the things I see a lot in the camping channels and the gear and whatnot that people uh, have kind of briefly covered, but they don't go into a lot of detail. They get all kinds of things about, you know, the better tarps and and that type of stuff, but they'll kind of just briefly mention some of the things you can do to get some of your electronics going on out, out in the field. Now, I'm kind of into gadgets. You know, I have uh, a lot of computer stuff, and where I go, people kind of expect me to be the guy that brings all that. So there's a couple of things that we, we know is that you can get <clears throat> these little cheap deals here, which work really well. Uh, they're an Amazon item. We have a small solar cell, and on the side, you have a USB port, and the back, you have the little 2AA, 2AA battery charger. And, you know, the digital concept is your little switch as to which way it goes. And if you go in, the, the power comes in and charges the battery. If you get out, it uses the batteries out to charge to do the USB port. Anyway, um, reasonably decent. Um, they're small and cheap. Um, however, you really need full sun. It takes a while to charge the batteries. It doesn't have quite the output. Um, <clears throat> well, this is one I kind of whipped together. This was something I got at Harbor Freight in Modified. Harbor Freight had this thing. It said solar panel. It was made by uh, Wagon Power Tech. And it had a um, four AA battery charger on the back of it with all this weird hokey connectors and stuff. Anyway, I ripped all that off and connected it directly to a regular USB cord, female side. So when you put it into the sun, okay, you plug your USB device directly into that and it'll charge it directly. Um, it needs almost like three quarter sun. It doesn't need full sun, but it won't do it in the shade. Okay, but it, there's a kind of a low output situation going on as well. What I found um, works the best is to actually get <clears throat> the 12 volt. Okay, now this one, and you'll see this on Amazon and a few other places for sale, it's kind of a flexible steel thing. It's got a couple of grommets on it, okay, and you can use those, a little bit of paracord hanging in a tree or wherever you get the most sun, you know, you can stake out one side, another one like this, and kind of pull it taut and get the angle you need. All right, so, but <clears throat> what they come with is just a, your general bare wire right? Red and black, red positive, black negative, okay? And that gives you 12 volts. And that gives you 12 volts even in kind of a light sun. Now, the rating on this thing says it puts out 18 max. It never reaches that, really, unless you have no load on it. But um, it, it kicks out pretty well. And the thing is, if you take that, hook it to your standard connector. There's a, a, US, a regular cigarette lighter, and I've got the little clampy so you can use it on that or I can hook it to my car or motorcycle which I use um, a lot you can you can use it for things like that okay and and be able to get your 12 volt from that you use one of these and these a lot of times if you bundle it with your Amazon stuff you don't have to pay the shipping sometimes you get them for as low as a buck it's a little 12 volt DC to USB connector okay so what happens is you get 12 volt in 5 volts out for USB and that when your solar cell is in the shade, okay, being that's a 12 volt power or a 12 volt solar cell, it'll easily put out five volts even in a shady day or cloudy day. So now that solar cell, that will run 12 volts or five volts out of a, a, a converter with absolutely no problem in almost any six circumstance except night. <laughs> so this will actually get everything charged. And as you know, your cell phone, your GPS, all that stuff can charge off of 12 volt. Now, an example of this stuff, to give you some ideas, one of the things you can also do, these are worthwhile. I don't necessarily pack one of these with me all the time, but it's a good base camp item, so you can have more than one device off 12 volt in case you have your chargers, right? But <clears throat> we have some other little things that work well, as, that work well with it. If you get the cheap, again, these are cheap Amazon item. USB hub, one in, 
four out. That means you could be charging batteries, running your cell phone, all that kind of stuff at once. Here's a 12 volt reading lamp. Okay, this goes as a gooseneck that's best for a computer, and you can take something like this with your 12 volt with your USB cell, and after it's all charged up, you can you can run your like a desk lamp, right? So that works pretty well. Next toys are battery storage systems. Now these are not bad. This is a cheap one I got at Rite Aid. It's called a Zap. It's a uh, it's a, a standard lithium battery in there, I think. And it uses the standard size mini uh, 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 USB connector that you put one side for charge, okay, and then the regular big one for coming out. Now, if you place this with the one coming in going to a solar cell and one coming out going to a device, this will even out a lot of the ups and downs in solar uh, and, and, and the sun going in and out, like in a cloud passing by, especially if you get a small cell like this. Um, for a little bit better results, that, I go with one of these. And this one's made by Techion, they call it. Okay, and it also has a situation here where it has an in and an out. Okay, and the reason why they have is a diode so that it doesn't leach back to the solar cell. So you put your USB mini in here and the larger out here. But this one's nice in that it also charges batteries. So it'll do four, uh, four nickel metal hydrides, which is a lot of power actually. Um, this will charge a lot of stuff. I don't care if it's an iPhone or iPads or whatever, it'll, it'll get all that. Um, and it does even out the power good and has an on and off switch unlike the other so when it's when it's off If there's power coming in it'll actually let power go out as well So if you have it coming in from your solar cell then out to your hub and your device is here right if the Sun's going it'll give it out But if it's not it won't and when you flip the switch it gives you a little indicator of how much you have left in the battery so if the sun's not out and you actually need to power something you can turn it on deliberately without having to worry about if you're running your batteries down for no reason so those are good, good deal. And there's also things you can do, like <clears throat> Energizer makes this little USB battery charger. It goes again off a of USB. Um, this works really well, AA and AAA. I use this for charging the batteries in my little cordless mouse for my laptop. All right. I even do things like I have my hair clippers run off a 12 volt, but this is kind of a neat deal. This is a, a Dremel. Um, and the Dremel was made to run off a little battery like so, right here. So this was actually, inside the cell, the sealed cell, is actually four AA batteries. So this thing was putting out five volts, which is the same as USB. I wired in a USB adapter, and running off of one of these, I actually have a solar-powered Dremel for making my stoves. Now, some of you may have seen these. Let me grab one real quick. This is my Venom can stoves, little holes here like this, right? You put alcohol in here, it makes a nice flame and whatnot. I've covered these in other videos. But I can do this now off the sun with a couple empty Venom bottles and I can produce something on the road quick, whatever, without having to worry about resupply or plugging in or anything like that. I just need an empty bottle and I can make myself some alcohol stoves. Um, let's see, lastly, oh yeah, for your laptops, Okay, now a lot of people are tempted, and if you go to a lot of the stores, they'll tell you something really stupid. What they'll do is they'll give you one of these things. Now this is called an AC inverter, and this plugs into your car lighter cigarette, and out here comes um, you know, power for 110 volts to plug in a regular AC charger for your laptop, and maybe even has a USB charger. These are nice in the car, but the problem is, is they're very inefficient. And because of that, by the time you end up trans uh, transferring the power from 12 volt all the way up to 110, and then back through a transformer, which you know gets hot, and, you know, basically heat is energy, and then back down to whatever your laptop's usually us using, usually 19 volts, you've lost most everything your solar cell is producing. It just, it's just not efficient. So what you want 
is you need to go and look around for the one that actually is meant for your laptop. Okay, in this case, as you can see, I've got a few cords. I've got my bag of wires over here. Most of them are USB cords, but anyway. So, this is a 12-volt a, a, a in to 19-volt out that is designed specifically for my computer. I've got a ASUS EEEPC 1015PN, which is a little tiny netbook that runs about six hours off of a, a battery. I used to have one that did nine, but the six-hour one has dual processor, video, video cards, yada, yada, it's, it's a nicer machine. But six hours is pretty good. This, plugged into one of those 12-volt outlets on this, even with that little solar cell, will charge my, my, my computer if left in full sun all day. Well, out in the woods, how much time do I really need on a computer? I, you know, if you're out there, you're really not doing a lot, but maybe you got to upload some videos or do some stuff like that real quick, or maybe you write something in a blog before you forget it or get the, the pictures out of your camera or something. It's nice to have it, and it's small. I mean, my, my laptop, my netbook maybe weighs a couple of pounds tops. So anyway, so that's a kind of a basic overview of some of the stuff. Um, I've also got hair trimmers that run on 12 volt and a bunch of other stuff. But if you have AA batteries, USB, and you can produce 12 volt, you've got the whole thing uh, pretty much done. And all that stuff that I just whipped out and tossed around, it weighs less than five pounds. This solar cell, well, semi-rigid, it doesn't fold up like some of the other ones. This one was like thirty dollars. It was really cheap. Um, it puts out a good amount of power. This is a six watt uh, solar cell, which is enough for charging netbooks um, with them off. You got to turn it off. They won't run it and charge it at the same time. Um, so you put that together with what you got here, and you got a good system. It is a little tall. You say, well, how does that work? Well, I usually do is on my backpack. Um, I've got a regular internal frame you know, the deal. This is a Arc'teryx. Anyway, what I do is I've got an internal frame and it slides in. I slide it right down the back in between the internal frame and the rest of my load. And you put it like this way, you know, your know, solar cell is not going to get damaged. You pack your other stuff against it. Not a big deal. It doesn't really take up much size or weight when packed flat like that. Um, but <laughs> if you're doing smaller, most everything will go on a USB. So a little thing like this, and one of those little backup battery chargers, you've got your GPS, your cell phone, all that other stuff. And a lot of stuff you can do in your cell phone nowadays anyway. Um, sometimes I'll even pack a Kindle with me. Kindle charges off of a USB and uh, gets about three weeks of battery life if you don't use the light. With the light you get a couple, three days. Um, I don't a lot of times carry stuff with me in the Kindle. You know, i got a lot of books and stuff. And, Sometimes out there you're fishing or something like that. It's nice to have that. I like the little built-in light. You know, kind of a nice little deal. Anyway, these are these are pretty decent. It's like having a whole library, edible plant food guides, all that stuff is good. Bible, etc., etc. It's actually pretty light. Um, but anyway, that's the gadgets. Gadgets for the woods. Um, sorry, I'm not outdoors doing it where the lighting's better and I don't look all washed out and. Um, you know, the sound quality is probably better outside as well because it's not echoing in this basement. But again, I'm in Seattle. It's raining out. I'm wishing that spring would finally arrive. It's supposed to a while, a while ago so I can go and pack this stuff up on my motorcycle and go somewhere. Anyway, uh, till next time, um, keep it safe. Um, try to always remember to bring something to purify your water when you go out there. And if you're going out the mission field, don't be safe. Don't be afraid. God's got your back. Just go do it. God blessed.